Top of the first, new to the pitcher Tim Conkling. With a strikeout is Jefferson Strands, a base runner. Bottom of the first, Jefferson pitcher Tim O'Shea handles the comebacker as he sends Newton down one, two, three. Top of the second we go, Newton pitcher Tim Conkling gets the pop out as he sends the Falcons down in order. Bottom of the second, Jefferson pitcher Tim O'Shea blows it by the batter as the pitching duel continues at Memory Park. Top of the third, Newton pitcher Tim Conkling gets the batter swinging as Jefferson goes down one, two, three again. Bottom of the third, Jefferson pitcher Tim O'Shea with a strikeout to end the inning as Newton strands a base runner. Top four, Jefferson with a runner on second and Newton gets the pickoff to end the threat. Still scoreless, folks. Bottom four, Kyle Spence with the base hit for Newton for the infield. First and second, two outs for the Braves. But Jefferson gets to force at second and Newton strands two to keep this game scoreless after four. Top five we go. Newton pitcher Tim Cockling handles the comebacker. Another one, two, three inning for him. Bottom five, Jefferson pitcher Tim O'Shea, one of 10 strikeouts on the day as he blows it by the batter. Top six we go. Tim O'Shea rips a base hit. Somebody finally gets on the scoreboard on the RBI base hit by O'Shea. It's one nothing Jefferson. But Tim Cockling avoids further damage with a strikeout down the inning as Jefferson strands a runner on second. Top second, Jefferson looking for an insurance run. They get it on the RBI base hit up the middle from Nolan Panzia with the RBI base hit right there. It's 2-0 Jefferson. All right, folks, bottom seven we go. After two walks and a sacrifice bunt, Joey Moore will load the bases for Newton with the bunt right here. Bases loaded, one out. Now with two outs, Alex Price walks. That's a bases loaded RBI. It's now 2-1 Jefferson. Then with the ground out to end the inning, Jose Diaz makes a nice play, and Jefferson holds on to beat Newton. Tim O'Shea, excellent on the mound, 10 strikeouts to get the win. We just needed to get strikeouts or basic outs. Uh, our team, my team backed me up, so I just put the ball where I spot, where, uh, where I can hit the locations. Timmy pitched great. His uh, fastballs, he was in spots. His curveball was nice and low. Not Last week, hung it a little bit against Sparta, hit a few balls to the wall, but this week he was on and no one could hit him. He pitched great. Couldn't, uh, couldn't do any better than he really did. Kind of started to buckle his knees at the last inning, but I think he did a great job today. Unbelievable today. He uh, Last uh, Wednesday when it was cold against Sparta, he came out a little bit rusty. and. Uh, I figured I'd give him another shot in the cold, and he settled down, and, and he was hitting his spots today, and that's what I told my pitchers. You know, it's not that uh, you don't have to be overpowering, but when you hit your spots and you get ahead on batters, uh, good things happen. Nolan Pananzia came up with a big hit for the Jefferson Falcons at top half of the seventh, an RBI base hit that gave them a 2-0 lead. Cuervo got a nice double, and Sean Marsh was uh, in running form at third, and there's a pitch right down the middle, 1-0 count. Just decided to turn on it and just push it right up the middle. Big hit. Uh, junior, uh, first varsity game. And uh, I just tell him, uh, he's a very good hitter. And I say, Nolan, be confident. And when he's confident in himself and when he doesn't think, good things happen. Certainly a big win for the Jefferson Falcons. They get their first win of this SCIL season. Huge. It's good to start off 1-0 since our uh, first three games were rained out. So this is our true first game. And start off 1-0. Very big win. Um, very good Newton team. Uh, I knew it was going to be a battle. So, um, you know, we, we came in, we did our game, and we manufactured runs. Like I tell the guys, I say it doesn't matter if you win by 10 runs or you win by one run. It, it's a win. And sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes you got to win those tight games. It's a big win because, you know, we got a tough SCIL this year. So with Sparta being really good, Pope John, Vernon. So this win just puts us in the race starting uh, undefeated. 